Yorg, this uh, security and defense treaty obviously being on Starmer's agenda. How do the talks seem to go with Schultz today? to like each other personally uh that was very obvious the way just from their body language kind of and of course they belonging both to one is the labor party one is social democrat to belong to the same uh kind of political home and olaf Scholz said even though uk is no longer part of the EU, we are still friends. And uh, Steve Kramer kept saying, this is a new treaty. We want to renew a friendship and, and a new area of British-German relations. Well, Prime Minister Starmer himself uh, actually uh, gave some remarks uh, about that security and defense uh, treaty from Berlin uh, after that meeting. Let's take a listen to Starmer here. A new UK-Germany treaty a once-in-a-generation chance to deliver for working people in Britain and in Germany. This treaty is part of a wider reset, grounded in a new spirit of cooperation, with our shared understanding that this will be developed at pace and that we hope to have agreed it by the end of the year. So Jörg uh, Starmer, of course, heads uh, to Paris next to where he'll be attending uh, the Paralympic ceremony. He'll be meeting uh, President Emmanuel Macron uh, there as well. The two major powers of Europe, uh, Germany and France, he's seeking this reset uh, in relations between the United Kingdom and the European Union. What do you think his next uh, move will be and how are his odds looking for that sort of a reset? Well, I think uh, it was important that uh, they 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 talked about what we have in common, uh, Germans and, and 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 Great Britain. So they were talking about a new defense agreement. They were both saying the support to Ukraine. They were, of course, talking about fighting illegal immigration. So Starmer said first uh, that he gave his condolences for the terrible uh, attack here in Solingen a couple of days ago. That uh, So uh, they also talked about Israel. It was interesting that when Scholz talked about Israel, he said Israel has to do more for civilians and for all the people who try to aid the humanitarian crisis. When Starmer, for example, said one needs a Palestinian state and we need a ceasefire and of course, the liberation of all hostages. So that was quite a little bit different what they each said, but they actually agreed on about everything they were addressed to, especially on uh, join, on, on, on the Ukraine and still aiding the Ukraine as long as it takes. All right. Uh, France 24 correspondent Jörg Tasman in Cologne. Thanks very much for that analysis.